Amanda is looking for a second date update with a guy named Kevin. Hi, Amanda. How are you? I'm good. How are you? We're doing good. We got our second date update hats on, our investigative hats. Yes. And we are open for business. So how can we help? Tell us about Kevin and how that first date went. We'll go from there. Well, it's been tough being at home and not going anywhere or going on any dates. And I can imagine. I tried to stay on the dating sites, but it just really wasn't the same. And I didn't think there was anyone really worth getting sick for uh, until <laughs> I met Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it's a form of companionship. Like during the shutdown, at least you had that outlet where you could communicate with people. You could talk meet to people. people. Yeah, meet new people, even if you weren't necessarily going out. But yeah, not the same as personally interacting with them, I guess, huh? Of course. I mean, you know, it doesn't really take the place of dinner or movies or <laughs> anything like that. But I do like that, that it's, it's become a new filter in deciding who to, is this person worth potentially getting sick for? I never thought that's, about that's that. That's the new yeah. barometer in that 2020. Is. It's like, okay, what is worth my time, my energy, and my potential health risk? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And how dirty yeah. do they look? Do they look <laughs> like somebody that's wearing a mask? Do they look like some? <laughs> do they look like somebody that's washing and disinfecting? Mm. Do you look at their fingernails and see if there's dirt <laughs> underneath? And then you're like, clearly, if they can't keep their fingernails clean, right? they yeah. cannot be in my life. So, Kevin, I'm assuming, is one of these people who you met online, no? Yeah, I met Kevin on one of the dating sites, and we just had so much in common. That helps. Yeah. So you guys are chit-chatting back and forth, and then what happened? Well, we went on a date a few days ago. What'd you guys do? Just dinner. It was pretty basic. Yeah. It lasted a few hours. We hugged goodbye, and I thanked him. And <laughs> Did it match the, 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 you know, the conversations that you had online when you got to meet him in person was it a match or was it a little different or i thought we had great conversation we seemed to really hit it off and have a lot in common i think it matched a lot of our i think it was very similar to our conversation that was online that's good so you felt like the person you met in person was very similar to the person you were communicating with online yeah, he he was totally the same, and it was really great to see him in person. That's good. And you said the date ended in a hug? Yeah, we hugged goodbye, and I thanked him and told him I hope to see you again, and I heard nothing. I, I texted him, and no response. And was there at any point, because you said you guys were, what, on this date for a couple of hours, right? Yeah, the date lasted for three hours. Oh, three the hours? Date last- yeah, yeah, I mean... I guess we had a lot to talk about, but I'm not sure what happened. Nothing, uh, no weird moments? Like even on a good date, or even when you're just hanging out with friends. Haven't we all had that moment later on where we're like, was I too drunk? (laughs) Did I talk too much? Did I say what I think I said? Was I embarrassing? Did you have any of those thoughts after the date, or did you feel pretty good about it? I felt really good about it. I thought we had great chemistry. Wow. It sounds like you're giving yourself an A plus here. <laughs> well, maybe not. I mean, why wouldn't I? An A minus. A minus. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You think he'll say the same thing when we call him up? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he didn't text me back, so there's obviously some kind of issue. I'm not really. I just don't know what it is. Or he may just have some some kind of mess he's got to clean up. True. Sometimes it has nothing to do with the person calling in on second date update. Mm-hmm. It could be something completely unrelated. But that's what we're here for, Amanda. We're going to make the call and see what Kevin has to say. We're going to see what he thought of you and his date with you as second date update continues here at Cincinnati's Q102. So hang on. All right, so Amanda met Kevin online during the shutdown. Got to know him a little bit, like a lot of people did. When she was quarantined, and she finally had a like a real date with Kevin, they went out to dinner and hung out for almost three hours. It's interesting how you can spend so much time with someone, and it takes you that long to decide you don't want to see them again. <laughs> right. I'm not saying I'm not saying that happened to you. You think Amanda. you generally figure that out pretty early on? You would think. Yeah. They seem to have a lot in common based on the things they talked about on the date. But she hasn't seen or heard from him since. She's reached out a few times via text, and there's been no response from Kevin. Have you thought of any other details that we need to know before we make the call, Amanda? Something else that may have come to mind about the date that we should know? I can't think of anything. We we were so we were so aligned. Yeah, I, I'm just I have no idea. All right, no 
No idea. Mm. We're going to call Kevin. You ready? Sure. All right, here we go. Hello. Hello. Is this Kevin? Yeah, it's Kevin. There he is. Kevin, it's Jeff Hi, and Jan Q102. How are you doing this morning? Oh, hey, Jeff. Hey, Jan. <laughs> Hi. Sounded like you were expecting our call. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting your call at some time. Yeah, for some men, it's just a matter of time. Oh, hi, Jeff and Jen. <laughs> <laughs> you get calls like this all the time? <laughs> no, I, I was expecting your call. Sometime, I just didn't know when it was going to be. So <laughs> it was in the back of my mind. I've heard of guys who have running bets with their buddies to see who gets called on second date update first. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You do a lot of dating, Kevin? Um. I, you know, in the quarantine, I, I, I talk a lot on dating sites, but I, not a lot in person. Um, obviously, for for well, for obvious reasons, I think. I mean, I think yeah, there's you don't want to see someone unless you're really sure that you think you're going to get somewhere with it. I think at this point, right? Well, the reason we're calling is your date with Amanda. She yeah. was left with the impression that you two have quite a bit in common. You seem very aligned was the word she used. And do you not agree? She said you guys hung out. According to her, you hung out for like three hours. Yeah, it was almost that. Look, look, (laughs) she's super nice. It just wasn't a good fit. There there was nothing about her. It's just that we didn't really agree on anything. We didn't delve into certain things online before we met in person, but some things came up during the date and, it's just we're, we just don't agree on stuff. Um, this is fascinating to me it. because she thought that you were very aligned. So mm-hmm. how is it possible? Two pe- are we talking about the same Amanda? Yeah, she probably doesn't realize. I just figured out a long time ago when when you're completely opposite somebody's views on whether a, a politics or, or some other hot button issue, I just listen and, and take it all in without uh, you know fighting about it. That's just. It's just the way I am. You know, I ask questions that I nod rather than try to debate on a date. I just don't want it to be like that, especially on a first date. It's just not. I just don't feel comfortable doing that with somebody who I don't really know at all. Okay. Uh, I mean, that was the deal. Not, we just, we just, what, the, what she was talking about, I think that I was probably, you know, nodding and, and saying, you know, tell me more or something like that, but we didn't actually. So uh, you were kind of giving her it. the impression that you agreed. I also understand, too, like sometimes you want to, because I, I want to listen. You don't have to agree with yeah. me for us to have a conversation. Right. We can mm-hmm. still be friends. I would just like to understand how, how you got to that viewpoint. Yeah. I mean, some of the things that she was saying I'd never heard before. It was like really interesting to me to, li- to listen to and hear, but I just don't agree with it. So I just, that's why it's not, I just don't think there's a future for her and Can I. you tell us I, what the deal breaker was for you? Like, what are some of the things that you felt you were vastly different on? Um, just some some political stuff. I, I, you know, I don't really want to get into it. I don't want to offend her or offend anybody else. But it's just that we just are not on on the same page with some stuff. She heard you saying, "Uh huh, yeah," and she, <laughs> you were saying, "Yeah, I hear what you're saying. I and, I am hearing you." And but, she's thinking right. he's agreeing with me, right? Yeah, not agreeing with you. Right. I'm just acknowledging yes your position yeah. with respect. Yeah. Yep. That's a lot of heavy talking, though, for a first date, too, though. Like, if you're going into, like, the politics and all that stuff, that's a lot of it's, I, I, heavy you know, combo, with man. These days and times, it's almost unavoidable. It's politics, yeah. but you it's know. also topic A, man. Everyone's yeah. talking about it. It's yeah. the trending stuff. How do you I not guess. talk about it in today's you say, world? I don't want to talk about that. Can we talk about something else? Yeah, but if you're going to date something, I'd, I'd want to be able to talk to the, that person about anything. You yeah. know, for me, that would that would be really a clear deal breaker. In the beginning, if we can't even have the conversation, whether yeah. we agree or not. All right. Well, let's bring Amanda into the conversation. Yeah, I don't get it. You didn't share any of your perspective. You just were just nodding your head and not even saying what you thought. Or Yeah. I'm I just, mean, I was listening this to This is like you. a lie. I, I, I was, this is a giant lie. Super interesting ideas, and I was listening, and that doesn't, that doesn't mean I was agreeing with you just because I was nodding or wanting to hear more. I mean, isn't that what a woman wants, is a man who will listen <laughs> Listen and understand. Well, he yeah, understood. Yeah, he didn't necessarily agree, but right. uh, but at the same time, we still want their honest thoughts and opinions. 
You sure about that? Well, and if they're not mine, then to hell with you. Exactly. But still, <laughs> no. It kind of like, depends I, it, on the topic. I mean, it, it, if you know, if it's something like personal in my life, it's one thing. Sometimes a woman wants to vent and just wants a guy to listen. Yeah. True. But for something like politics, we want to hear kind of what they have to say or their opinions. Those are important. Yeah. And I think even if people don't have the same opinion, they can still get along if there's chemistry. Yes, I agree with that. But it's, it does seem as though we have all become very political. Even those of us who never considered ourselves political, now we're all so political. And it influences the choices we make in our partner, our friends, the people we hang out with. Just in life. I mean, we just have everything going on. I, so I knew, you know, crazy. I know so many couples where, you know, one was more liberal and one was more conservative. And I knew another couple where she was a vegan and he was a hunter and loved his red meat rare. They were different, but they loved each other, and they were able to coexist. But now we lack tolerance. We're all about camps and identity politics, and we lack any sense of coexistence. Than well, we you know, to. it's all part of their plan, Jeff. They're trying to divide us. <laughs> They're trying right. to divide us even further and to cause all this that. kind of pain and arguing and strife and Ooh. anger. The they, aliens? They. Oh, they. I can see his point, though, because... I go out with all sorts of groups of friends and we talk about all sorts of stuff. And sometimes you just don't feel like opening up a fight and getting into it. You're like, y'all agree this, think this. I don't, but I don't want to get into that crap because I just do not have the energy for it right now. I do that all the time. I just leave the conversation and go play with my kids. And other people can't always handle someone else having a different opinion and then hurt feelings are there and everyone's pissy and I just don't have time for that Tim, are you and Chris politically aligned? Like, do you have the same philosophy (laughs) on... While we are, he just doesn't know it. (laughs) (laughs) He just doesn't think he is. Yeah. Is Is that that right? (laughs) <laughs> have you tried to explain that to him does he know that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just definitions so right. you know. <laughs> oh wow guys well kevin we thank you for at least taking the call and being honest with us now yeah yeah hey hey look it's, it's not that i wasn't being honest i just it, I, I just was listening and not giving my opinion that's all right all right well amanda i'm sorry i don't know what to tell you yeah it happens it's it's a new time right yeah. Jen wouldn't have let him leave the table. She would have been like, I don't believe you answered my question earlier about <laughs> who nope. you're voting for this November. Nope. I would have just let it. I would have let the, the indication that he didn't want to share that information be a no means next. Well, that's telling. <laughs> At least, you know, I would like to be able to talk about it. Well, we appreciate you both coming on Second Date Update. You guys were great sports. Yeah. Okay, thanks. You got it. All right. You need our help with a second date update. All you have to do is send us an email, Jeff and Jen, at WKRQ.com. Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy. Angie's List is now Angie, A-N-G-I, and caring for your home just got easier. Whether you need help with routine maintenance or a dream remodel, Angie makes it easy to see reviews, compare quotes, and connect with top local pros who can get the job done right. Plus, you could see upfront pricing and instantly book hundreds of projects. No phone tag, just the work you need done at a time that works for you. Angie's got your to-do list covered from start to finish. Book your next home project today at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I dot com.